Welcome to a demo of Genome Oncology's web-based tumor board application. In the current landscape of cancer care, clinicians present a case to a tumor board review using a PowerPoint presentation that discusses the patient's conditions and treatment options in order to collectively create a recommendation. Genome Oncology's tumor board application enables both those sitting in the meeting and those joining in remotely to collectively view a patient's medical history, prior therapies, lab reports, and to analyze biomarkers, select treatments, and recommend a treatment plan efficiently and effectively. When you log into the application, you can view all of your meetings and you have the ability to review cases for this week's meetings and future meetings. You can also view the status of every meeting from this page. When you join a meeting, you can view all the cases within that meeting and the status of each case. Selecting the action details will allow you to view the patient case and create a recommendation. This is the beginning of the patient review workflow, starting with the clinical details tab and ending with the recommendations page. When you enter the case, you are automatically synced with every user also reviewing that case during that meeting. So when my colleague Katie selects clinical details, those selections are updated on my screen and a toast notification informs me of what she has changed. This allows everyone to follow along with the case in real time. The sync toggle at the top of the page can be turned off so the user can unsync and review the case on their own without affecting any other user. Toggling back to sync will take you back to the current state of the meeting. The clinical details page is populated with basic demographic information, health information, images from pathology or radiology, and a table outlining the patient's prior oncologic treatments. Images can be annotated and details can be selected. The selected details will appear on the recommendation page to be added to the final report. The next section in our workflow is the lab information section. This page is populated with any patient reports. For example, we have a genome oncology report and a foundation one report. All the biomarker data from these labs is presented in the markers tab. Experts can review detailed information about any biomarkers, including the allele frequencies of the mutations in both a tabular and graphical form. And if you select a marker, you can view the gene information, gene disease, alteration info, pathway info, where you can view trials and therapies specific to parts of the cell pathway affected by the mutation, and even take a look at trials and therapies specific to the variant. In the trials and therapies tab, you can view trials specific to this variant, change it to view only trials based on this gene, and view trials not specific to the disease of the patient. This information has been curated by the MyCancer Genome Team at Vanderbilt. You can also view other pathogenic mutations proximal to the variant that you have selected. If there is information about a variant not found on the page, then you can flag that variant for curation and make a note about what information needs to be added to the variant. In addition, users can review and analyze the potential effects of possible co-occurring alterations by adding biomarkers to the list of variants in the markers tab directly from the application. After reading through and collecting information about each variant, we can select the variants that we believe to be most relevant to the patient's diagnosis. The selected variants in the markers tab will affect what therapies and trials populate in the actions tab, and these variants can be included in our final recommendation. The Actions tab is where users can view trials and therapies related specifically to the combination of mutations selected and choose which trials and therapies to recommend to the patient. The last section in our workflow is the Recommendations tab, where users can create and send a report with the proposed treatment plan to clinicians. Any customized template can be incorporated into the report to organize the recommendation. Each section can then be populated with any detail, marker, and action that we selected in the previous tabs. The entire recommendation is fully editable and can be modified by any user. Thank you for watching an introduction to Genome Oncology's Tumor Board application. We look forward to your support and feedback.